Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you full month calendar in ASP.NET Core. So uh, the basic steps you can do uh, to design and display the full month calendar in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, uh, here we have two links related to your CSS and here we have like that style sheet, both are style sheet and HTTPS CDN JS Cloudflare.com Ajax Libs and uh, you can say uh, full uh, full calendar 3.10 is the version of full calendar full calendar dot mean dot css and similarly we have the ajax libs full calendar 3.0 li like that so you can use this full uh, full month calendar uh, of the design css now just after that you have to open your index.cshtml file and where your uh, division uh, have an id property that is calendar now also you can use the script file uh, inside your section scripts so section scripts 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 cdnjs cloudflare and your moment.js moment.mean.js and full month uh, full calendar.mean.js here we have two library of the js also here we have two library of uh, css okay so in this uh, video just here we have a document dot ready function the when the first time the dom is ready then calendar that is the id property of the division dot full calendar it it is display with the header message that is a left next and the today okay and the center is title and the right is month basic week and basic day so you can just uh, show your output on your browser and you will display the header as well as the default view and the with the events also so this is the simple example you can say so here we have the that is the centered that is the february of 2023 so you can say that this is the title and uh, this is the title you can say uh, in the centered so here we have a february uh, display the dates as well as in the title next and the previous and the today month week and the day so looking like that in the left section in the left section previous next and today looking like that uh, previous next and today in the right section you have to month week and day looking like that in the right section month basic week and basic day and the default view is the type of the month you can say that 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 is the default view of the month you can say okay and uh, if you want to change this month to year like that uh, and save this and you because it's a, a JS file so the default view is the month and the event is event 1 and this is the date of the event event 2 is the date of the event and the start date and end date so uh, the looking like that uh, oops it's not a okay and just save this okay so uh, here we have uh, that is the event is the first event and here we have the second event but you can say that event is the 5 to 6 and here we have event is uh, 2 it's not a event 2 uh, event 2 is uh, date is 23 start to end you can define that start to end the next uh, event is title event 3 start and all day that is the false you can see so here we have 12:30 pm event start from the 12:30 pm it's not for the old day start is 12:30 pm that is the defined so here we have simple demonstration of your full month calendar using jquery and you can just define that full month calendar in your project and uh, based on the calendar you have to select the events as well as and that all events are saved into the database table okay so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and if you if you know that how to uh, save the events in the database table with the specified dates then you can ask me and how to display that same thing on the calendar control then you uh, then you just comment me because I will tell you how to save all these files uh, in database tables related to your month calendar. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.